Good morning. Scott Love with A to Z Insurance, your trusted choice independent agent. Today we're going to talk about where did Lloyd's of London come from. Most of you probably have heard of this very famous international underwriter of insurance policies. Well, Lloyd's of London has an interesting beginning, and I believe it will you will not only find this interesting, but it will also help explain how insurance evolved to what it to what it is today. In in the 1600s, uh, there was much piracy. Uh, obviously, back then, like there is today, ships faced uh, peril from the span. The English ships were being sunk by the Spanish Navy and the Spanish Armada. There were storms. And the ship owners and the cargo owners were getting weary of losing their entire shipment, either to a hurricane, piracy, or so forth. Well, about 1680, a man named Edward London opened a coffee shop on Tower Street in London. And he, and in his coffee shop, sea captains and merchants and investors came together, and they were talking and, and brainstorming for a way to lessen their risk. And so what they came up on was a, a strategy to insure their cargo. If an investor or lender was going to loan money or or be willing to cover the risk of a ship sinking at, at sea, in exchange for it, he wanted a, a premium uh, in, in exchange for that. And so the cargo owners got protection for their goods if the ship went down at sea, and the investor or the lender would keep the premium if the ship did not go down. Now, no one was willing to take on the risk of insuring the whole amount of goods, and so it was just too big an undertaking. So each investor would decide what percentage of the risk he would take on. And so uh, after there was a detailed description of the ship, its route, the cargo, etc., this was all in writing on a contract, each investor or lender would write his name on, on the sheet describing the journey, and underneath it, he would put the percentage of the total value of the cargo that he would insure, and thus the term underwriting. Underneath his signature, he would put the percentage. That, again, that's where the term underwriter came from. And thus, this system came into place, and soon it was called Lloyd's of London, and now they are the great international company that you're aware of. Thank you.